Welcome back to Change Your Mind and Improve Your Life. This week we have inspired affirmations by Dr. Joseph Murphy in his book, Think Yourself Rich. I'd like to introduce you to this book, Change Your Mind and Improve Your Life, The Complete Goal Manual, and this is available on Amazon.com. The reason that we put this video together for you is because we believe in you. We believe that you can achieve any goal that you put your mind to, but we also realize you're going to face challenges on your way. This is where these affirmations come in. Listen to them over and over again. Subscribe to the channel. And without any further ado, Dr. Joseph Murphy. It is your God-given birthright to be rich. You are here to express the fullness of life in every way. Your secret purpose on earth is to lead a happy, joyous, and glorious life. Infinite riches are all around you. The treasure house of infinity is not to be found in a bank vault or a pirate's trove. Treasures are within your own subconscious depths. Begin now to extract from that marvelous gold mine within you everything you need. Whatever you need, whatever you want, you can bring it forth when you learn to apply the proper techniques. It is normal and natural for you to want to achieve success. You are successful. It is normal to want recognition and prosperity in your life. My life is full of prosperity. You ought to have all the money you need to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. There is no virtue in poverty. Poverty is a mental disease. Poverty should be abolished from the face of the earth. Just as wealth is a state of mind, likewise poverty is a state of mind. If we want to eradicate poverty, we must first wipe out the mental poverty created in people's minds by their belief in lack. Wealth, like poverty, is really a pattern of thoughts and images in the mind. If people were to follow the techniques and begin to use their subconscious minds, wealth would flow to them in avalanches of abundance. It is the right of you and your family to have healthy, nourishing food, good clothes, a comfortable home, and the money. You need the time, every day, for meditation. I will find a calm quiet place to meditate every day. I need to pray every day. I will pray to God every single day. The true meaning of prosperity does not lie in having more things. It means that you begin to advance mentally, spiritually, and intellectually, as well as socially and financially. You are here to lead the abundant life. My life should be full of happiness, joy, health, and rich living. Begin now to release the riches of the treasure house within you.
the real riches are within your subconscious mind. Everything I need can be found within my thoughts. The average person looks everywhere but within himself or herself for wealth, success, happiness, and abundance. God is the life principle, the infinite intelligence, and the infinite power, available instantly to all people through the medium of their thought. Poverty is a disease of the mind. Belief in poverty and lack produce lack and limitation. Wealth is state of mind. Believe in the law of riches, and you shall receive. Before we will ultimately banish the slums and poverty, we must first banish the slums and false beliefs in the mind of people. You can tap the riches of your subconscious by claiming guidance, abundance, wealth, security, and right action. Make a habit of meditating on these truths and your subconscious will respond accordingly. Lull yourself to sleep every night with two ideas, wealth and success. Your thought and feeling control your destiny. When you believe that the nature of the infinite intelligence in your subconscious mind is to respond to the nature of your request, the answers will always come to you. Your thoughts are creative. Each thought tends to manifest itself in your life. You promote yourself. You answer your own prayer because it is done unto you as you believe. Be careful when you affirm wealth, success, right action, and promotion that you do not subsequently deny what you affirm. Thoughts are things. What you feel you attract. What you imagine you become. Be sure that you are not envious or jealous of the success, riches, and wealth of others. Remember, your thought is creative. If you are envious or critical of those who have amassed wealth and honors, you will impoverish yourself along all lines. What you wish for others, you tend to create in your own experience. Whatever you really feel to be true, and so decree in your life, will definitely come to pass. Decree riches, health, beauty, security, and right action. I use meditation every day. To believe is to accept something as true. Belief makes the difference between success and failure. Belief makes the difference between riches and poverty. Belief makes the difference between health and sickness. Believe in the riches of the infinite power within your subconscious and you will experience them.
When your problems seem more overwhelming, break the tension by praying sincerely for someone who is very ill or in deep trouble, and suddenly you will find your own problems solved. Want for other what you want for yourself. Realize that the infinite healing presence is flowing through the loved one as harmony, health, peace, and joy. Visualize the loved one as radiant and happy. Meditate quietly on these truths and pray again when you feel led to do so. Wonders happen as you pray this way. Have compassion and give the sick person a transfusion of faith, confidence, and love, knowing that with God all things are possible. Your thought is creative. Every thought tends to manifest itself. You can direct and steer your thoughts in the same way you steer your car. Thoughts are things. Your thought image of wealth, success, and achievement is the magnet that attracts to you all things that correspond with your thought image. The quiet mind gets things done. Tell your body to be still, and quiet your mind by thinking of the infinite intelligence of your subconscious, which knows the answer. When your conscious mind is still and your body is relaxed, the wisdom of your subconscious will rise to the surface mind. Turn your request over to your subconscious with faith and confidence. You can give up many bad habits by decreeing freedom and peace of mind. Liquidate the past and never dwell on old grievances or grudges. The future is your present thinking made manifest. Think regularly and systematically of harmony, beauty, love, peace, and abundance, and you will have a wonderful future. Think of the infinite riches within your subconscious mind. Think of harmony, peace, joy, love, guidance, right action, success, all these are principles of life. As you think of the life more abundant, you activate the latent powers within you. Your subconscious will compel you to express the abundant life right here and right now. Thoughts are things. Use the meditation to secure the great power of faith for yourself. The rich get richer for the simple reason that the consciousness or awareness of wealth and the expectancy of more and more of God's riches. Everything starts with your mindset. The thought image of wealth produces wealth. Enter into a consciousness of God's wealth, which is all around you. Live in the joyous expectancy of the best. By the law of attraction, you will attract the riches of the infinite storehouse in your own subconscious mind.
keep thinking of prosperity, abundance, security, and increase in all things. Whatever you give attention to grows. Whatever you give attention to, magnifies and multiplies in your experience. Keep your attention on whatsoever things are lovely and of good. Radiate abundance, goodwill, and riches to others. They will pick it up subconsciously, and you will attract wonderful people into your life. They will prosper and you will prosper. A rich person walks in the mental attitude that wealth is like the air he or she breathes. Having that state of mind, the person attracts more and more riches of all kinds. The poor person who is constantly picturing and talking of lack, bankruptcy, and hard times attracts these qualities to him or herself. You can get acquainted with the riches of the infinite storehouse within you by reiterating and believing the following prayer. I am ever grateful for God's riches that are ever active, ever present, unchanging, and eternal. God gave you richly all things to enjoy in this universe. Life itself is a gift to you. Believe and expect the riches of the infinite, and invariably the best will come to you. Strengthen your ability to create a rich life by meditation. Resentment and hostility are mental poisons that rob you of vitality, enthusiasm, and energy. Often blind faith will bring about remarkable results. Whether the object of your faith be true or false, you will get results. True faith consists of the belief that the infinite presence that created you knows all the processes and functions of your body and that when you unite with it believingly, results will follow. True faith is the combined use of your conscious and subconscious mind, scientifically directed. When you pray for healing, complete forgiveness must take the place of all guilt, peeves, and grudges. You know when you have forgiven others, because there is no sting in your mind. Negative and destructive emotions snarl up in the subconscious mind and cause many diseases. A wonderful prayer for forgiveness is this. I forgive myself for harboring negative and destructive thoughts about myself and others, and I resolve not to do this anymore. Whenever a negative thought comes to me, I will immediately affirm, God's love fills my soul. They will prosper and you will prosper. A rich person walks in the mental attitude that wealth is like the air he or she breathes. Having that state of mind, the person attracts more and more riches of all kinds. The poor person who is constantly picturing and talking of lack, bankruptcy, and hard times attracts these qualities to him or herself.
you can get acquainted with the riches of the infinite storehouse within you by reiterating and believing the following prayer. I am ever grateful for God's riches that are ever active, ever present, unchanging, and eternal. God gave you richly all things to enjoy in this universe. Life itself is a gift to you. Believe and expect the riches of the infinite, and invariably the best will come to you. Strengthen your ability to create a rich life by meditation. Resentment and hostility are mental poisons that rob you of vitality, enthusiasm, and energy. Often blind faith will bring about remarkable results. Whether the object of your faith be true or false, you will get results. True faith consists of the belief that the infinite presence that created you knows all the processes and functions of your body and that when you unite with it believingly, results will follow. True faith is the combined use of your conscious and subconscious mind, scientifically directed. When you pray for healing, complete forgiveness must take the place of all guilt, peeves, and grudges. You know when you have forgiven others, because there is no sting in your mind. Negative and destructive emotions snarl up in the subconscious mind and cause many diseases. A wonderful prayer for forgiveness is this. I forgive myself for harboring negative and destructive thoughts about myself and others, and I resolve not to do this anymore. Whenever a negative thought comes to me, I will immediately affirm, God's love fills my soul. Your skin is where the inner and the outer worlds meet. Emotions of hostility, anger, suppressed rage, and resentment may express themselves as skin diseases. Remorse and guilt according to psychosomatic physicians, are the cause of many skin eruptions. This presence always seeks to heal you and to make you whole. Self-condemnation and self-criticism are destructive mental poisons that send psychic pus all over your system, leaving you a physical and mental wreck. come to a decision. Forget the past and saturate your mind with divine love, peace, and harmony. Realize that divine love dissolves everything unlike itself. No matter what has happened in the past, you can change it now. Fill your subconscious with life-giving patterns of thought and you will erase and crowd out everything unlike God. Begin to think of the untold riches all around you waiting for the intelligence of humankind to reveal them. There is a guiding principle within you that, when called upon, will reveal to you the riches you are seeking. There is an old saying, make friends with money, and you will always have it. Look upon money as God's idea, circulating among nations, maintaining economic health. Claim that money is circulating in your life, and your subconscious will see to it that you have all the money you need. 
If you condemn money, calling it filthy lucre, the root of all evil, and making other such nonsensical statements, your money will take wings and fly away. Money, like everything else in the universe, is universal substance, which a spirit reduced to the point of visibility. Money, like iron, platinum, lead, oil, and coal, are all forms of the universal substance operating at different frequencies and vibrations. Adopt a new attitude toward money, realizing you are entitled to be richly compensated for your work. Think of all the good you can do when money is circulating freely in your life. You can work very hard, but if you dislike money or criticize it, you will find yourself in want financially. You do not make a god of money, but you realize that it is essential on this plane of existence. You look to the real source of wealth, which is God, and you know that as you turn to the source it will turn to you and give you all the riches of life. You do not worship a created thing, you worship the Creator. Your expectation is from God, who giveth to all life breath and all things richly to enjoy. Claim that you are always using money wisely, judiciously, and constructively for your own good and for that of all men and women everywhere. Constantly claim also that the infinite reveals better ways in which you can serve. The master key to disciplining the mind for money is to come to a clear-cut decision once and for all that God is the source of everything you see in the universe and that everything people have made came also out of the mind of God. Believing this to be true, your affirmation for wealth will prove productive. When fearful thoughts or thoughts of lack come to your mind, Reverse them at once by affirming, God is my instant supply. Whatever money you have, bless it now and believe it when you say, God will multiply this exceedingly, now and forevermore. Believe it in your heart and you will never want all the days of your life. Focus your attention on whatsoever things are lovely, noble, wonderful and God-like, and you will experience the riches of life. Remember, you reap what you sow in your subconscious. Watch your thoughts. Use meditation. Use affirmations. Your thoughts are creative. Never talk about lack, limitation, or being unable to make ends meet. This multiplies your misery. Think of God's riches. Affirm boldly that the riches of the infinite are flowing to you in avalanches of abundance. Claim it boldly and the infinite will respond. I live in the joyous expectancy of the best and invariably the best comes to me. Wonders happen as you pray.
You should have all the money you need to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. Your subconscious mind accepts the dominant of two ideas. All things made by humankind came out of the one mind, and all things made by God came out of the same mind. Think prosperous thoughts. Think of riches of all kinds and the immense wealth of the world, and your subconscious will respond to your habitual thinking. Supplant all thoughts of poverty with the thought of God's opulence and endless resources. Be open and receptive, and let wealth flow freely to you. Be a good receiver. Your conscious mind is the pen with which you inscribe your true desires in your subconscious. Think quietly and with interest of each desire separately, watering it and nurturing it with faith and expectancy. By frequent habitation of the mind, you will impregnate your subconscious, and the cherished desires of your heart will be realized. Never engage in thinking of lack, limitation, loneliness, and frustration. Have a mental plan of the things you want, and then realize that whatever you attach to I am, you will create in your life. Get a little phrase easily graven on the memory, such as, I am happy, joyous, and free. Repeat it over and over again as a lullaby. Do it knowingly and feelingly. As you sow in your subconscious, so also will you reap. Use affirmations daily. Instead of grumbling, whining, and complaining about current conditions, reverse that attitude of mind and claim boldly, divine right action is mine. Divine success is mine. Divine love fills my soul, and whatever I do will prosper. Know that your thoughts are creative and that you are what you think all day long. Have a healthy respect for your thoughts. Your thought is your prayer. Begin to contemplate that God's beauty and riches flow freely through your thoughts, words, and deeds and you will experience the results of your thinking. Only rich people can contribute richly to all, the poor cannot give. When you are in a quandary and are dealing with difficult people, it is a good thing to write out clearly your desire, as follows, this, too, will pass away. There is a divine and harmonious solution through the wisdom of my subconscious. I lose it and let it go now. With God all things are possible. Life is a mirror for the king and the beggar, reflecting back to each of us precisely that which we deposit in our mind. You can draw up for yourself a treasure map listing the cherished desires of your heart. Go over it several times a day, claiming and imaging the fulfillment of each desire now.
Persevere and you will find that the images will be deposited in the subconscious, which will bring them to pass. If you were apprehensive and worried about the outcome of a conference or legal controversy, quiet your mind and claim that harmony, peace, and divine understanding operate in the minds and hearts of all involved. Give thanks to your higher self and you will find wonders happening as you pray. Your master image will sink down into your subconscious mind and come to pass. Whoever perseveres will be crowned. Make full use of the meditation to help develop your greater use of imagination for a richer life in every way. God is who giveth the increase by multiplying the grains a thousandfold. Increase means the multiplication of your good along all levels. Do not talk about the financial lack, poverty or sickness of others. To talk about lack is to attract more lack to yourself. Clothe everybody mentally with the riches of God. Stop brooding about your own financial troubles and stop talking about your lack of money. Give attention to the riches of the infinite within and without, and you will prosper. Attention is the key to life. Whatever I give attention to grows. I only give attention to the positive things in my life. Rejoice in the advancement, good fortune, riches, and promotion of all those around you. Be exceedingly glad to see people experience, portray, and demonstrate the riches of God. You will attract riches of all kinds to yourself. Your thought is creative, and what you think about the other, you are creating in your own experience. Be friendly with money, whether a dollar bill or a coin. Realize everything comes out of the invisible mind of God or of humans. Realize that God, or Infinite Spirit, is the source of all blessings and that it is the nature of the Infinite to respond when you call upon it. Give the best where you are working and the best will come back to you. Be friendly, affable, and amiable. Express goodwill to all. All doors will open up for your growth, expansion, and riches. Form a clear mental picture of what you want to be, to do, or to have. Know that the power and the wisdom of your subconscious will back you up. Persevere and be determined to become what you want to be. Your mental picture will be developed in your subconscious mind and become objectified. When you are praying for increase in money, be sure to stop blaming the government, the welfare system, and taxes. To blame others will cause money to fly from you rather than to you.
what you want is more money. Realize that God's wealth is circulating in your life and that there is always a divine surplus. What you criticize and condemn becomes manifest in your life. You become what you contemplate. I think only good thoughts. Contemplate that God multiplies your good exceedingly, that your business is God's business, and that you are prospering beyond your fondest dreams. Enter into it in your imagination until you feel the tones of reality. Your imagination is the key to your future. Once you fix the picture in your subconscious, the way will open up, the dawn will appear, and all the shadows will flee away. Ask, and it shall be given you. You are here to squeeze the last drop of happiness out of life. Emerson taught one doctrine the infinitude of the private person. This means that the riches of the infinite are within you. You can contact all the powers of the Godhead in you through your thought life. As you think of riches, guidance, inspiration, and creative ideas, there will be a response according to the nature of your thought. It responds by corresponding. If you want to take a trip anywhere around the world, act as though your prayer were answered. Do all the things you would do to prepare for the trip as if you actually had the money in your pocket. Believe you have it now and you will receive it. In your imagination, feel yourself in that country or city now. Repeat the drama frequently until it gets into your subconscious, and then it will come to pass. Spirit and matter are one. Energy and matter are one. The scientist uses the term energy for spirit, which is God. God is the only presence, power, cause, and substance. Therefore, spirit is the reality of money, food, and clothing. The whole world of matter is simply spirit in form, reduced to the point of visibility. Claim that God or spirit is your instant and everlasting supply and that money is now flowing to you freely, joyously, and endlessly this very moment. Believe and know, realize and understand that the formless is forever taking form. Let money and all kinds of riches flow to you now. When you wish to pray for riches and true expression for another, realize that infinite spirit opens up the gateway for his true expression and that God's riches are flowing to him in avalanches of abundance. Changed attitudes change everything. If a person places emphasis on the spirit of forgiveness and goodwill to all and also forgives himself good things happen. The key to your health, wealth, prosperity, and success lies in your capacity to choose.
choose whatsoever things are true, lovely, noble, and godlike. Choose thoughts, ideas, and images that heal, bless, inspire, dignify, and elevate your whole being. Your power to choose is your highest prerogative, enabling you to select from the infinite treasure house within you all the blessings of life. The minute the idea of freedom is fixed in your subconscious mind, you are compelled to freedom. Divine law and order govern my life. Divine peace is mine. Divine love fills my soul. Divine harmony reigns supreme. Divine beauty fills my soul. I am inspired and divinely led in all ways. There is a happy outcome to all my undertakings. Never hesitate to make a choice. You are a volitional, choosing being, and to refuse to choose is actually to reject your own divinity. You can choose according to universal truths and principles of God, which never change. If you do not choose to do your own thinking, the mass mind and the propaganda of the world will make choices for you. There is no such thing as indecision. It simply means you have decided not to decide. Don't let others make up your mind. Choose God and His truth. Choose that goodness, truth, and beauty will follow you all the days of your life because you dwell in the house of God forever. Your whole life consists of a series of choices. All of your experiences are the sum total of your choices. You are always choosing your books, clothes, schools, partners, homes, cars, and so on. Watch the kind of thoughts, images, and ideas you choose. You are what you think all day long. Choose what is lovely and of good report. God, or infinite intelligence, will do nothing for you except through your thought, images, and choices. The universal cannot act on the individual except it becomes the individual. Choose God and realize that only God knows the answer. If perplexed and wondering how to choose between two alternatives, realize that God, or infinite intelligence, knows the answer. Contemplate the answer and the supreme intelligence will respond accordingly. It never fails. Regardless of past errors, sickness and failures, Believe now the absolute truth that the will of God for you is a greater measure of life, love, truth, and beauty, transcending your fondest dreams. Open your mind and heart and live in the joyous expectancy of the life more abundant now and forevermore. Your subconscious mind seeks to protect you at all times. 
it behooves you to learn to listen to its inner monitions and promptings at all times. When you are relaxed and your mind is at peace, the inner voice of intuition is heard clearly and distinctly. The inner voice often speaks to you as an inner, persistent feeling, a sort of hunch warning you of danger to yourself or a loved one. When you have a sincere desire for the truth and know that infinite spirit responds according to the nature of your thought, you will get results. Affirm boldly that infinite intelligence is your constant guide and counselor and that you will instantly recognize the monitions of your higher self. You will receive answers according to your request. You will receive answers and directions from your subconscious according to what you meditate on. Artists, poets, inventors, and other creative people listen to the inner voice of intuition. They astonish the world by the beauties and glories drawn from the storehouse within. Intuition means direct perception of truths or facts independent of any reasoning process. Intuition also means, inner hearing. The extrasensory faculties of your deeper mind can see the motivations of an employer and also the future result. These are hidden from the conscious mind. When that intuitive feeling wells up telling you not to take a new position, follow it. After praying about anything specific, the first impression is usually correct. Clairaudience is a faculty of your subconscious and means clear hearing. Self-preservation is the most powerful instinct of the human soul. Many times, your subjective self speaks in a voice to warn you and to protect you. You can direct your subconscious to guide you always and know that divine right action governs you. You will be instantly informed about anything you need to know for your protection. If you hear a voice saying, don't go, obey it. When danger to the individual is imminent, the subjective mind makes a supreme effort to avoid danger. It may speak in a way to which the individual will respond. The monitions of your deeper mind are always lifeward and should be heeded. If you wish to meet someone and you don't know where the person is, picture yourself talking to the individual, feel the reality of the experience, dramatize it in your mind, and enter into the tones of reality. Your deeper mind will bring both of you together in divine order. To avail yourself of the amazing riches of the silence, use the meditation. Confidence means, with faith. Have faith that when you call on infinite intelligence it responds to you. You build up your faith when you realize that thoughts are creative. what you feel you attract, and what you imagine you become. 
Any idea felt as true will be impressed on your subconscious mind and come to pass. This knowledge gives you faith in the laws of your mind. Its practice will work wonders in your life. A magic formula for building self-confidence and success is to look in the mirror in the morning and affirm. If God be for me, who can be against me? I can do all things through the God power that strengthens. Insist on the best in life and the best will come into your life. Realize you are one with the infinite, and the infinite cannot fail. You must have a workable faith. You must demonstrate your faith in God and all things good. Faith must appear in your home, in your relationships with people, in your finances. Faith without demonstration and results is dead. Have faith in the creative laws of your mind, which never fail and never change. Conceive of yourself now as successful and wealthy. Imagine the reality of the state, and irrespective of seeming obstacles and difficulties, you will experience the result of your mental image. Your mental image is absolute monarch and king. As you give it your attention, faith, and confidence, it must come to pass. There is always an answer. There is someone who cares, that one who created you in the universe. Trust it, it is the one, the beautiful, and the good. Claim divine activity and realize that since God's blessings and God's riches never cease flowing into your experience, miracles will happen in your life. The day will break for you, and all the shadows will flee away. Love is always outgoing. You are the ruler over your thoughts, images, ideas, and responses. You can order your thoughts around like an employer instructing employee what to do. You can steer your thoughts correctly in the same way you steer your car. You can fall in love with a grander, greater, nobler concept of yourself by imagining you are doing what you love to do. Become absorbed and engrossed in the mental movie and you will achieve your goal. Love of your ideal casts out all fear. In the midst of an emergency, affirm. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? There will be a response and security will be yours. When a person is abusive and refuses to pay a just debt, surround that person with light and love. Feel and know that the love of God flows through the person and that the law of harmony prevails. Radiate love, 
peace and goodwill to all people around you and to all people everywhere. Wish for other people good health, happiness, peace, abundance and all the blessings of life. As you make a habit of this, countless blessings will be yours. Ninety percent of people who are failures in life don't get ahead because they rub others the wrong way. Love and goodwill is the answer. Love is the fulfilling of the law of health happiness, wealth, and success. Love is goodwill to all, and what you wish for another you wish for yourself. Wonders will happen in your life. You will be healed of jealousy and ill will, and you will prosper. Tell your spouse, I love you. God loves you. Feel it. Believe it. Proclaim it. Love unites and preserves the marriage. See the happy ending and contemplate the divine solution through the action of God's love, and victory and right action will be yours. You can protect yourself by realizing God's love in the other and God's love saturating and surrounding you. To preserve a marriage, see God in each other and exalt God in one another, and the marriage will grow more blessed through the years. Love unites. Love heals. Love restores the soul. God is love. Nothing can bring you peace but the triumph of principles. Use your mind the right way by feeding it with God-like ideas, and you will experience serenity and tranquility. Think right, feel right, act right, do right, and pray right.